going on YouTube? Cloverbells here, back with another Scarlet Violet video. And today we're hopping back into the rank ladder to showcase a super cool Stealth Rock Clefairy team that has the Doug Boys on it. And this is the team made by Sebastian Rodriguez. And he used this team to get top four in the recent Buenos Aires special events, right? So that's like a regional. He got a lot of CP out of it. And he had some really, really good results uh, with the Stealth Rock Clefairy. And the first question is, why is there a Clefairy instead of a Clefable, first of all? And why is there Stealth Rock here? So, a couple of things is, uh, first of all, you know, the main use of Clefable is the fact that you have Unaware, right? Which, you know, kind of negates the stat buffs that people are going with, especially like Dondozo stuff. But he actually already has Haze on the Dragonite. So you don't necessarily need the Clefable anymore, per se. And now you'll get a little bit more value out of the Clefairy instead. And, you know, Friend Guard is just a broken ability. It has really good synergy with Gold Dango too, uh, where you can just add a little bit more bulk to it to set up your nasty plot and then just go ham with the Make It Rain stuff. Um, but then besides that, you know, the Stealth Rock idea. So consider all the Sun teams running around with like Charizard, uh, you know, the Torkoal stuff, and then, you know, Pelipper's coming in, the Sneezers with Sash, the Pelipper's with Sash, uh, the, the Clefairy can kind of just break that. So, you know, you go for these Stealth Rocks and then if those options switch in, then they just take so much damage and then you don't have to worry about potentially playing for the Sash double tap play, right? So that was the immediate value in that. And then, you know, if you're playing a best of three and the opponent sees Stealth Rock, they kind of have to lead the Zard stuff and then the, the Sneezers and the Dragonite. So, you know, they have to lead that. Otherwise, they just get their abilities... Uh, broken so like again like we mentioned dragonite loses multi-scale and then you know volcaronas take a lot of damage you know especially volcarona right so the stealth bike has insane value in breaking all of those things and you when you know that they have to lead it against you then you can kind of play to your advantage and just go from there right you know that you know half of their game plan is what sebastian uh kind of said and he basically had his uh lima team right which he won with it and he just adapted it and he came up with this so super thanks to Sebastian for loaning us the team. And he actually made it public anyway. It's not like he actually just only gave it to me. So um, the rest of the team is pretty standard. You know, you got Incineroar with safety goggles, typical four standard move set with the fake out, the parting shot, the knockoff. You know, you can set up the Goldengo by just going for all this damage mitigation, um, you know, good positioning. And then the Sneezer, of course, another fake out user that you can use to help set up the nasty plot. D Knight is D Knight. You know what you're getting there with the scale shot shenanigans. Um, the Haze can come in clutch. Uh, and depending on what you're playing against, of course. And then the raw Blood Moon, you know, uh, coming from the Blood Moon Ursaluna. Again, with the Fairy and the Incineroar here uh, with the Assault Vest. So you got physical damage reduction, and now you have special damage reduction all around. The Ursaluna just becomes really hard to remove, and then it's just free spread damage around, um, and then you can snipe things with the Vacuum Wave. So all in all, a really solid team, and I'm really excited to try and use Clefairy Stealth Rock here. Because I, I don't think there's ever going to be a chance where I'm going to be able to use it. So might as well take advantage and, and go for it now. So without wasting any further time, let's just go straight into the ranked battles. And let's see if we can get some dubs with Stealth Rock Clefairy. Okay, the, the people are trying it now. It's it's Arkeladon and the Bear. There's the P2 mode. There's the Gambit. There's the Vivian. Double support, man. Double Rage Potter and Follow Me. It's good options there. Um, okay. How do we want to do this? I think it's a little bit tricky here. I do think the Blood Moon should come. 100%. Um, if it's the Vivian in the back, I don't think that matters a whole lot. I don't think I need the Fairy here. Um, honestly, like, what is my speed? 38, so it's pretty slow. I could have the advantage in Trick Room. But the problem is I don't have after you. <laughs> Alright, I have stealth rocking stuff. Okay, uh, I do have Vincent. That's going to somewhat help, maybe. But there is a Gambit. So how do I want to do this? Do I just bring you and you and just go ham? All things considered, then bring Vincent in the back. And then the Sneasler. I think this is the way I need to do it. Let's see. We'll leave the uh, Clefairy behind this game. We'll see how he decides to play this. But I would imagine a P2 lead should come out here. 
Now, I did notice, again, with the Arkeladon, there was no rain setter. So that makes me think Power Herb Protect is in the works. There's the Vivian and there's the Ursaluna. Okay. So it looks like Tailwind, Earthquake stuff. Um, But, yeah, this is where, like, I need to think about this. I could Nasty Plot here. Oh, this is where, if anything, like, Incineroar looks really good. Just just straight up i can i can also just nuke this how do i want to do this i can fake out and then just next turn start doing stuff yeah i think i think that's exactly what i want to do i want to intimidate and let's just go with a nasty plot here there's no way he earthquakes right there's no way you earthquake with that thing i think we just do this okay and we have the Goldengo and the Goggles Instant, so, you know, we're not really afraid of sleep shenanigans here. I think it's just going to be Rage Powder and, I don't know, click something. We'll see. Alright, there's the Sleep Powder, right? He didn't protect. Oh my goodness. There's no... Did you actually went for Earthquake? Really? Man. Or did you just go for the other... Alright, it's the Head Lover. We should We should eat this. Okay, we don't actually eat it. That did a lot more than I thought. Okay. <laughs> that did a lot more than I thought. Um Okay, so I mean we can flare we can fake out something. Depends on who has protect. I don't think is he afraid? I don't think he's afraid. I wanna just fake out this thing and just go crazy with make it rain and try and pick up a KO here. Like, this is Terra Water. It's not Terra Water. Um, it's not Terra Steel. I don't know if this is enough. I'm going to try, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay, we might even switch out here. But we do have the Fake Out ne Make It Rain Pressure, at least, for this turn. And now he has to start thinking about what does he do with this Vivian. Okay, he could Terra Ghost here, which would be bad. Okay, that has Protect. All right. Sometimes they don't have it, but this is ladder. What are you going to do? Okay, so he didn't protect the Ursa Luna, interesting enough. I don't know if this KOs. It might. Okay, plus two, make it rain. Let's see. Let's see this investment here on this. Oh, there we go. That's what I want to see. Good job, Goldango. You had your you had good value there. Okay. So, Vivian stays alive. He keeps his sash. Goldango has to... You know, drop here. So it's a trade, right? Go dango for the Ursula. Alright. Now we have to also start thinking about sleep powder stuff. But I think we have to go into you now. Yeah, here we go. We went for the headlong rush instead. Alright. There's the Porygon here. I kinda just have to pressure this thing. Alright, so he kept the so that must mean the Arkeladon is in the back. Alright, so here's what we do. I think we have to force the knockoff on the P2. And start clicking... What? I do need that thing. I don't want to fall asleep. That's the problem. But I think I don't have a choice here. Yeah, and just do like spread damage with the Hyper Voice. Or the Blood Moon here. To play. If we outspeed, yeah, let's see. He has to still like miss, quote unquote. But this will help us a little bit. We'll see what he decides to do. Yeah, he does have a sash, we know that. Oh, it's just Tailwind! Wait a second. Huh. Okay. Oh no, we eat this. Where are EV? Oh, that did a lot. Okay, so we knock off the Avilite, that's good. Okay, this might kill, unless P2 is actually the GOAT. Okay, P2 is the GOAT. Man! <laughs> Alright, um... Jesus. I, I still want to pressure with knockoff here. Um, but actually, what I actually want to do is do this. We can Flare Blitz now, and if he go, does go for the sleep, then that's okay with me. Uh, and then just snipe with this vacuum wave over here. We're gonna force him. Let's see. Alright, let's see if he anticipates the vacuum wave coming in. And then if he switches our Keladin now, then that, that's also taking a vacuum wave. So that's the good thing about this, per se. 
But it depends on what he does with this Vivi on here. We do have a Sneezer in the end game. All right, protects that slot. So this is a free snipe with the Vacuum Wave. All right, and again, he does have Tailwind. I understand that. He does have the Tailwind. But this is still okay for me. And it, what's, what's, in, what's key is that this thing has a Sash. All right, we do have the Sneezer Endgame. All right, that's the only thing that I have going for me. Oh, he brought the Gambit. Holy smokes. All right, we can't switch the instant now. Um. So honestly, I think we're fine just doubling in on this slot. And then just vacuum wave here. And then let the, let the, you know, let the sneezer uh, finish things off here. All right, so I just want to double tap the Vivian here. Oh, that's perfect. Then now we just win. <laughs> I was never going for that slot because we had the win con in the back. All right, all I need to do is just chip this, okay? And then just finish things off with the... Um... That's okay. That's fine. Okay, that, that we knew was coming. But the key was to break the sash and just KO with the instant player blitz here. All right, now we just win. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, good. And now Sneezer just wins. Um, unless he has like some crazy Terra, like Terra flying or whatnot, but we should be okay now. So there's the Flare Blitz, and again, I can just click Earth Power just because, but yeah. Alright, so we had to do a little bit of maneuvering, but this was, this, this ended up being okay. I feel like you always just had to, I feel like not bringing our Kellen was a strange uh, call here, but it works out for us. Of course. Alright, he does Terra, but into what? So, this could be just straight Dark, which, again, Sneezer does end up winning. Yeah, see, that's fine. Um, because, again, we have the... We have the Sneezer Endgame Con, but this is still okay for us. Swords Dance does not help you at all. <laughs> you, can sword, you can Swords Dance to plus 60, but, yeah, there's a... I would love a Burn, too. Am I going to get a burn? No, I'm not going to get a burn. Ursaluna stays asleep, but uh, let's see what ends up being the play here. All right, there's your Tailwind, but he did just click Swords Dance. And again, we have the Sneezer with the Sash. The ga this game is over. He doesn't know it, but this game is, in fact, uh, over. I even think a, ba a Vacuum Wave Snipe is enough in this Let's see if I get the one turn wake up here. All right, Ursaluna stays asleep. All right, what are we doing? Is this low kick yet? No, it's just straight Sucker Punch. Alright, but that doesn't kill. Alright, it's gonna do a lot, obviously. But now, by going for this Flare Blitz now, I get the free switch into my own Sneasler. And that's pretty much it. Uh, cause now... Oh, I don't I didn't even get this. Alright, so then that's okay. Alright, now we can just go back and wave again. See if we can get a wake up after two turns here. Blood Moon finally wakes up. Alright, here's the Snipe with the vacuum wave. That should be enough. Alright, it's actually not enough. Okay. Yeah, alright, but now, he didn't even click. Um, sucker punch anyway but yeah okay excellent wow all right so it was all about just managing the vivian sleep shenanigans but um goldango did the job early where we took out the blood moon not the blood moon the other or the other bear and from there we were just okay so the superior bear has in fact won this game okay there's a comfy here otherwise it's another arc rain variant with d knight there's Rillaboom, there's Sneasler, uh, and then a Comfy. There are Trick Room ideas, Floor Healing to keep the Arkeladon alive, I guess. Does make sense. Um, so, Instant is going to be really important here, for sure. Because there's three targets I want to intimidate. Question now is... What can I do here? Can I lead this? <laughs> can I lead Clefairy? And can I lead the Ursaluna? I think so. Especially if he doesn't have D-Knight or, or something else in the back. Then I will bring the instant. And then what cleans up? Is it going to be the Sneezer? I think it is. I think we'll have to do it like this. Could also technically bring Goldango and leave the Sneezer behind. But, like, the, the Life Orb Goldango is not bad here, either. 
right? Especially like make it rain pressure. I do have the Clefairy here to set up and the instant, so we'll see. I think we'll do it like this, leaving in leaving the Sneezer behind. Okay, we'll try this out. Cause I, I'm looking at it. It looks like some some targets. That I wanna I wanna break Sash with a Stealth Rocks, but let's see if he leads both of those options or all of them. We'll see. All right, what is this? Okay, Pelipper and Arkeladon. All right, I couldn't say I'm, I'm surprised. But this is where... This is where we can get some value out of Stealth Rock here. All right, we can also redirect, but I can also click Blood Moon. I can also force the Terra Grass into the arc right now. Okay. I don't... I think I might have to Terra Dragon just because I don't want to take Weather Ball damage. And then we can also just pressure the this thing with Earth Power. Let's see what he does. I'm curious. Okay, he swaps the Pelipper. Okay. Into what? It's Rillaboom here. Okay. It is Rillaboom. So later the Pelipper might take some, some chip if it was Sash. Unless he just goes for Flash Cannon right now. Okay. But that's me tearing, so I'm gonna assume that. Uh, well, we don't, we can't assume yet, because that arc could still tear. Up. All right, let's see what it is. If he raw Terra dragons, there's no way. I could have just redirect. He can't. He can't just click the dragon move. All right, yeah, it's just electro shot. That's fine. So this is going into the Clefairy slot. That's very interesting. All right, I'm pretty sure we live this. Okay, yeah, and Clefairy eats that. Oh my goodness. All right, now we get to click the raw earth power, which is good news for me. And we actually just remove it. Okay. So our Keladin gone. Gone. All right, goodbye. Clefairy, we got to click the stealth rocks. Yeet. All right. If there was a multi-scale, if there was a, a Pelipper with a Sash, that's gone. Come on, Clef. Give me some good value here. And we get the Terra Dragon against the Rillaboom. So this is really good. We can always click Blood Moon now. Okay. What's coming back in? Let me see. Show me the D Knight. Oh, what is it? Is it gonna be Pelipper again? Yo, it's the Pelipper. That looks. Oh, look at that damage. All right, Rillable. We're not really too worried about. We have Insin here. Um. So honestly, we can just straight nuke, and win, and just trap the Rillaboom with the the stuff. All right. So he can fake out. I don't think that's really going to matter a whole lot. And then just do this. So. It's wide guard. I was never clicking the spread move. Alright, this is, this ends up being a waste for him. Alright, here's the follow me. Alright, Clef, your job is to redirect the Rillaboom. Okay, wood hammer, that's fine. I don't care about that. That's more damage to him than me. Because now we get the straight nuke. Okay, and now Insane gets to come in and, and, and intimidate everything. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Goodbye, Pelipper. Not tearing the Arkeladon in the face of an Ursaluna is something. That was something. Now we just, now we just do this. Alright, what else is going to take the Stealth Rock chip? The Comfy. Ah. Okay. But now we just do this. Okay. Exactly, exactly. Now, he he might have the dragon, the fairy move. Alright, or it's just the other thing. But, how many turns of rain do I got? Still got three turns of rain. Um, I can just fake out this thing. And, again, just click raw hyper voice damage. He can still heal, obviously. What do, I, do I even like care or do I just straight nuke? I think I'm gonna just straight nuke. Like what? what is, what's stopping this? Nah, I'm gonna just click fake out and let's just click raw hyper voice damage, whatever. Okay, fake out comes out into the Rillaboom. Okay, all right, it is Encore. Oh, so he's trying to lock me into it. I see it is an encore. All right, but this doesn't really matter uh, because <laughs> I mean I, I'm gonna click it. Okay, that's fine. You made me click Blood Moon again. 
All right, so now comes the, the floor healing stuff. So honestly, what we can do is just um, parting shot the Rillaboom, weaken it even more. And I am locked, so it is what it is. And we are faster than this Rillaboom here. All right, it is a floor healing, but where's the damage coming from? Where is the damage gonna come from? Okay, and there is a wood hammer that should do like, that, that did paper. Okay, there's the chip. Okay, here's the parting shot. Okay, now this real room is minus two. All right, and now we can go into Goldango here and wrap this up. All right, click make it rain and everything. Yeah, and that's it. If anything, just nasty plot. All right. All right, so now you struggle. <laughs> okay, there's the struggle mechanic, um, but that, that should do it now. All right, but he does have the, the Terra here. All right, um, I'm still I'm just gonna do this. Just remove the Comfy here, and let's just go into instant now, and that's it. Like he can Terra if he wants, he can absolutely Terra. All right, but now he understands the writing on the wall. The battle was canceled. Oh boy. All right, what is this? This definitely looks like some global challenge shenanigans. All right, we got the Sylveon the Smeargle. Oh, all right. Honestly, I mean, the Flamigo is the one that actually causes an issue. He actually hits everything here. But Instant also looks pretty good uh, against everything else. So we still have Fake Out Pressure. We can always do it like that. Um, his Goldango versus my Golden Knight. Insin. I don't want to do this. I don't even think I need Clefairy for this either. Now, what could be good? Maybe Insin D Knight, right? But the problem is the the thing doesn't pick up, right? The scale shot. It's gonna be close. It depends on what he wants to do, especially if he leads like Sylveon shenanigans. All right, what we can do is we can do this and go into you and have the Blood Moon in the back. And I think we'll do it like that, leaving Sneezer behind this game. Let's see if this ends up working out. Let's try. I do think Instant is, is the key here, especially against a team like that. Let's see what he does with the Sylveon, if he does in fact leave with it. Oh boy! Alright. It has already begun. Alright, this is where Goldango is going to be like important and stuff. So, Fake Out is a thing. Um, I do have the Goldango, which is important, as well as the Blood Moon. I just need to get rid of this, this, um, this monstrosity. Right? And... I guess I don't really care about the Sylveon per se. I, I'll trade you a Dragonite for a a Smeargle, I guess, right? Because we have a Goldengo anyway. Um, I do have Terra Steel here, so I may not necessarily need to cost um I mean, a, a slot here. I may can I can probably just go Scale Shot. All right, it depends. All right, that's us. So I don't want to die to. You know, Hyper Voice per se. I want to keep the Dragonite around a little bit. So, this might end up helping me here with the Terra Steel. And the key is just removing this Smeargle. Alright, so if we can get off a Fake Out. Which... Alright, he has his own Fake Out! Okay. I didn't think he... Oh, yeah, that's right. They... Yeah, it's been a hot minute. Oh, okay. That actually just does what we needed to do. Alright. So, honestly, this, this is okay. All right, he went for fake out there. This is probably hyper voice. Okay. And let's see. Now we can technically just parting shot. And now we outspeed the Sylveon for sure. Yeah, there's the hyper voice. That's okay. Oh my god, that did so much. Is that specs? Okay. Yeah, th that was that was a lot of damage. What the heck? <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh no, that's that's not allowed. Okay, what is this? Alright, it is the free grab. Could be a Terra Fairy option. Um, 
Yeah, that, that, that was that is specs. Holy smokes. Now we're we're party shotting this. Actually, what is my speed? Can I do it? It's gonna be tricky here. Oh 109. Oh we're we are fast. We absolutely outspeed here. So we'll party shot you. Yeah. And even a knockoff would have been good. Let's scale shot again. Um this for a gap. I don't think this KOs anyway. Alright. Yeah, it's still gonna do like decent damage. Okay. But that's three slots. I could get a crit here, that'd be great. No crit. Five? Okay, we got five slots there. That's cool. Alright, and let's see what this Sylveon decides to do. Again, he might kill me now, but we'll see. I don't think so. Alright, parting shot is gonna be good here. Okay. Um, weakening this and just going into Goldengo uh, could be good here just to be able to resist everything here uh, and start pressuring. I could also technically go into the Blood Moon here um, and then just kind of withstand what he has, but I think Goldengo is going to be okay, right? It is Specs, but it is minus one now. I do have the Terra Steel, uh, not the Terra Steel, the Steel Typing. It is Hyper Voice again. All right, Goldengo eats. That's good. All right, and it is just a raw hyper voice here. So this is okay. This ends up being okay because Dragonite just absolutely tanks this. All right, and it is a throat spray, but again, he doesn't have the speed. Goldengo also is pretty fast too. We outspeed the Sylveon. We're gonna force it to Terra too, 133. So what we can do technically is still click make it rain. And if the Sylveon does in fact Terra out of the the Terra Fairy idea. If it's Terra Fire, okay. But then we can scale shot this. And then we're okay. Okay, let's see what he does here. All right, battle is canceled. Listen, I'll take it. <laughs> we had the pin. So that, that, that still works out for us. Oh my goodness. All right, we got Arc Rain. Wait, is this the triple dragon team? Is this... This isn't Kevin's, Kelvin's team, is it? Um... Might be. Anyway, okay, so we're definitely going to need like the Ursa Luna for sure. I kind of want to bring the Clefairy. <laughs> um, I, I I actually do. I actually want to bring this thing. You know, we've got a couple dragons there. We can bring some Sash on that Pelipper, ideally. Um, I do think Intimidate is going to be important here as well. And the question now becomes, can I preserve the Ursa Luna, right? Um, because yeah, I think we can just lead these two. And then we can bring Ensign, Intimidate Support. And then I guess Nasher comes in the back and then we just do it like this, right? Yeah. So we can redirect the scale shots. Uh, and then I guess, do you bring Garchomp, right? Uh, you might, because we have one, we have three ground weaknesses on display. Um, but I don't, I'm not really that afraid of a Chomp per se, if I can always, you know, intimidate it with the instant Aurora, ideally. So we'll see how this goes, but as long as we can take care of business uh, against the Arkellan, I think we can be okay. But we might get some value out of the Clefairy here. Depends. Alright. Let's see. Okay, it's Pelipper and Garchomp. Okay. So, he may have brought Dragonite in the back, but we definitely know our Keladins in the back. So... This is where we can kind of start pressuring a little bit. Uh, we can click Moonblast into the chomp here okay and then just straight off right the bat just click blood moon um that's the other thing right weather ball can kill honestly i may just click follow me here and just straight you know click hyper voice just to get some damage on the board and not really have to worry so much here. All right, stays in. God forbid there's a there's a wide guard here, but I don't think he has. Yeah, see, this is just raw earthquake. This is okay. This is what I thought he might do. We should eat this. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. All right, but here's the hyper voice damage. Okay, there is a weather ball coming out here. 
All right, Clefairy actually just drops here. Oh my goodness. All right, Clefairy, you, you did your best. <laughs> you, you came in one turn, tanked an Earthquake, tanked a Weather Ball, and that was it. But now we have Instant here uh, to come in and intimidate the Chomp. Okay, he can also technically go into the Arkeleton now. But I still think this is okay. Now, again, I do think Arkeleton is going to come in. I, I generally do. Um, especially now that we have the instant on the board and uh, the chomp is here. So, here's my take. We can click fake out now. And if he does come in, uh, then we can click earth power. Do we make this call? I'm gonna do it. You best bullet, I'm gonna do it. Show me, <gasps> Show me the arc. Show me the arc, Helenin. Yes, exactly. All right, perfect, perfect. Now, the only thing that could be... Okay, that's fine, too. I was going to say, like, he could just Terra Ghost and Weather Ball, but he didn't do it. All right, beautiful, beautiful. All right, here we go. Okay, I don't know if we kill, right, because we are the Assault Vest set, and we don't know how much investment he has in his HP department. All right, that's still, like, very good damage, in all honesty, right? Yes, he does get his boost there, but now um, we have a lot of... We have a lot going for us. We can also click knock off now onto this slot. Okay, and this is where we can Terra the Ursaluna. Um also. And we are, we do have a fast instant. I don't think it's fast enough. So I do This is also tricky. How do we want to do this? He is plus one defense. Because we're not out of the woods yet. I can still click knock off here. I'm gonna still click this stuff. All right, we do force a Terra here. All right, this is probably Terra Grass. I was thinking about it. Should I click? Should I click? I should have clicked Blood Moon, man. All right. But that's a good play on his part. But let's see what he does here. I think the Pelipper just outspeed. All right, we do outspeed the Pelipper. Oh, it doesn't remove. It's not enough. Oh, instant. Why? You had one job. Oh, that's tough. Aw, oh, man. Okay, where are we going here? Alright, instant, I think we can still, like, eat this, per se, but it's not gonna be pretty. Unless he went for the instant slot. Alright, Earth Power? Yeah. Nah, I, sh I needed to click the other move. That's tough. Alright, and it is just a raw weather ball. Alright, Ursaluna, you did your job. Sort of. That's, that's unfortunate for me. Not removing the Pelipper. The Garchomp is in the endgame, too. That just, that just makes things even worse. Yeah, so we made, we did make a good play before this, but... Yeah, I was stuck kind of thinking, like, what could really... And then Ensign not picking up the K on the Pelipper was not great either. Um, The Chomp kind of just wins. But, well, here's the thing. I can still click Knock Off here. All right, and I can still click Dire Claw. Like the Pelper can protect. Is it? Is it? Over? I mean, I'm still like the fastest thing here, because I just found out his Pelper is slower than my Ensign. I'm gonna do this. Let's see what you got. All right, so your Art goes down. Okay. The problem is you got something else coming in, but I do get to keep my Sash at least. But the Chomp kind of just wins in this end game here. Okay, yeah, not picking up the, the Pelipper was unfortunate. All right, it was a bulkier set. It was a slow bulky set. So what can you do? All right. And then I guess not tearing the Ursaluna was also not good either, right? That's probably what I should have done. Yeah, now it's just these guys. Now I can't win. Ah, okay. Um, the Chomp has been chipped. How do I how do I beat that Dragonite? No, don't know. Okay, um, I can still kind of click knock off. I can do it over here, and then what? 
Dire Claw. <laughs> I don't know what that is supposed to do. Maybe he just protects here. But... Yeah. Uh, it... Yeah, I I'm just thinking about it. Like, yeah, I... I... The, the Ursulina definitely needed to tear it. Yeah, there's the E-Speed. That, that we knew was coming. Alright, so here's the Dire Claw Yeet. Alright, a little bit of damage. Uh, we do get a sleep though, but I think the Garchomp just simply clicks Earthquake. I think what I also needed to do is probably just try and sleep the Garchomp. Right? And then, who knows, but... Yeah. I think that was my other win condition. But yeah, I guess Clefairy didn't really, couldn't really do that much in the early get-go there. But I think just anticipating the Terra Grass read and then just going for another Blood Moon would, would have been great. And then just actually Terra Dragoning the Ursaluna was correct there. Um, me not tearing, letting it die was, was bad. Oh, come on, man. People are still playing this garbage, this Smeargle muck nonsense. Um, let me check this investment here, actually. Okay, we only have one eight seven. Okay. Ah, uh, how do I want to do this? This could be good. And same with this. But how do I beat the other thing? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I guess we have to bring you in the back. And is Gold Dangle the key? Like, look at the. the that thing is everything here is a mess. I don't know what I'm supposed to do against all, all any of this. Um, is it D Knight? Scale shot is bad enough as it is. What do you think? Or is it just the power of Sneezer that I'm gonna have to rely on? I think it, it will be the power of Sneezer that I will rely on. This is not fun. If I have to play a 15, 20 minute game against this nonsense, I'm just gonna toss this. <laughs> All right. Annabelle versus Bell. Okay. Oh no, he let this. So, I don't think I'm gonna get that much value out of my stealth rocks per se, but um, I do have the fake out pressure. We can always just pick out the Torkoal and click Moonblast here, right? We can always do that. So that's my anticipation. All right, just to do a little bit of chip. Now let's see. He did. He led this. So Instant has a boosted Flare Blitz. So we have to think about that. All right, so we get the fake out going onto the Torkoal, which is nice. Okay, Axe Kick. What is that? Holy, we, we got a tech. <laughs> Alright, here's the Moonblast. Alright, that didn't even get it to Sash. Alright, we got, he went for Axe Kick. That was a play. Alright, um. Alright, now this is where we go for Follow Me. And. The Friend Guard actually helped me live there. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. He went for Axe Kick. How do I beat this Torkoal now, though? I want to click Follow Me first, and then I'm going to click... I do want to click Knock Off first and just remove whatever kind of item that he has. Alright, we are going to see a Terra. Okay, but the Clefairy... Is it just Terra Fire Torkoal? It is Terra Fire Torkoal. This might be just straight Helping Hand here. Uh-oh. But... Or is this just after your Eruption? Is that what it is? All right, we're gonna click follow me first, just in case. Let's see what he does. This is just fall after your eruption. It is after your eruption. All right, we did a little bit of chip. Okay, then I don't think he understands how it works. All right, because he got it was weakness policy. Okay. All right, so this doesn't this doesn't do a lot of damage. So what he doesn't understand is he got faked out last turn. So that that defeats that mechanic. Um, so, in reality, what we can do now is just click Moonblast here, and, I mean, he had a weakness policy, first of all. Okay, honestly, what I want to do first, even before anything, 
Let me just set up my stealth rocks. Because, like, there, there's some things in there that potentially have a sash. So I want to try and set that up. Let me click stealth rocks now. And let me try and click a flare blitz onto this. And let's see. All right, solar blade comes out. All right. I don't know if Clefairy actually lives this. Let's see. Alright, Clefairy actually lives this. Clefairy the goat, here's the Flare Blitz. Okay, we get to we get rid of that. Okay, I think both of these things died of eruption though. Okay. So oh it's just Route Heat Wave? Okay, yeah, then we're then we're Jack actually. So we don't even get a chance because this Clefairy is just too slow to click stealth rocks. Alright, but we did get rid of the other threat. Okay. So no chance for stealth rocks here. <laughs> Alright, but we do get Blood Moon coming in, which looks good, and then we have Sneezer as well. Alright, now what comes in? Okay, yeah, see that's where stealth rocks would have been great, because we get to break a sash. Okay. But now he's got fake out stuff, and then he has potential spore, which is not great either. Um, but we can pressure. I can click vacuum wave here. And we can always still click fake out. Right? So we have that going for me. So in reality, this is still okay. I can still click Earth Power here and still click fake out. There is the option for Terra Ghost. But the question is, do you do it now? Let's see it. No, he didn't. Alright, so there's the fake out. Okay, and we get to click Earth Power. This should just kill it. Okay, that's good. So we know it's Muck coming in. Alright, and now this probably is just Raw Heat Wave. Alright, there is the Raw Heat Wave. Um, makes me wonder, should should I have clicked Fake Out and then just Earth Powered the Torkoal? And then let the Sneezer clean up next turn. Alright? So Earth Power, let me think. Earth Power the Torkoal, not take all this damage. And then next turn we do stuff. Okay, but he didn't set up at all. So we can still do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Earth Power the Torkoal here. And I can still Dire Claw this and maybe hope for something. Right, and I think it, this is where he has to... Oh, he didn't even Terra yet. Oh, he actually just Terra the Torkoal. That's okay. Alright, no shenanigans. So Earth Power Torkoal. This should have happened last turn. But who knows? Here comes the, the minimize games. Okay. And he has drought, so I mean I guess. Alright, he knocked off my assault vest, but he has no setup. So I don't think he quite played this well. <laughs> Alright, there is the leftovers. But he can't tear it anymore. And now it's pretty easy. Now we just click Earth Power into this slot. And we can CC into this slot. And then that's it. It's over. He can't tear it. He tear the Torkoal. Alright, his misplay was not remembering how after your eruption works. Okay. And now we just uh, clean things up here with the Earth Power. So GG's to this. Silly shenanigans, the Smeargle, Alolan Muck garbage that people are still playing, but this is what happens. Alright, so that's it. There's the rental one more time, so give it a go. Let us know how you do. Um, we did get to click Stealth Rock, so that's the... the there's that. Again, you're not going to be able to do it every game, right? You're not even going to be able to bring the Clefairy every game. Um, we definitely didn't, but... The rest of the team is just good. Dragonite, Ursaluna, Goldango, your Doug Trio, uh, pun intended, is so good. And then you have the Instant and the Sneezer coming in. You know, double fake out pressure and then just a cleaner in the end game with Sneezer. Especially with the Unburdened, just so, so strong. We didn't necessarily do it in our video, but the fact that you have the option for Terra Stellar um, for big raw damage is just really, really good. But overall, um, you know, the team just works. And uh, again, the Clefairy is good. Um, on this type of team because you already have face okay so uh once again thanks to sebastian for for the team and hopefully you guys have some good success with it too um but yeah we'll be back with another video in the next one guys peace out and have a good one